In this video, we will determine the LU decomposition for this two by two matrix. And so let's get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna do here is do this. I'm gonna draw a matrix, a two by two matrix. I will write one here, one here, and zero, zero. One across, zeros across. This will be called E1. I will multiply this by A, I'll write two by two. And this is going to equal what we have. Three, negative six, five, negative eight. So three, negative six, five, negative eight. And what I wanna do next is come up with a way to obtain this. I want my L to be number, 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 and on top right to be zero. I want my U to be number, 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 and the bottom left to be U. And so this is what I'm gonna do next. I will say, I will essentially make this U, but I wanna make this five, I want this five to go away. So ultimately, this will be U, and I wanna make this five disappear. I can do that if I modify this two by two matrix. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna draw this matrix out again. I will leave the top to be the same because I can have a number and I will change this five into zero. If I do that, if I change five to zero, eight's gonna have to change too. And so this is how it's gonna get changed. I will multiply this row right here by negative five negative five R1. R1 is this side right here and R2 is this. And I will add it to three R2, meaning I will multiply this three and negative six by negative five and I will add it to this row right here, but I will multiply this row by three. So this is what I would get. So three times negative five is negative 15 plus three times five is 15. So negative 15 plus positive 15 would give us zero. And now this is how negative eight changes. So negative five times negative six would give us 30. Plus three times negative eight is negative 24. So 30 minus 24 would give us six. And so this is now our new matrix. This is gonna be called U because it matches, right? Next, I will apply this over to this matrix. I have to do that because if I multiply one side here like this, I have to do it to the other side so it can be balanced. And so this is what I would get now. So again, top row would remain the same because this top row also remain the same. So I'm not gonna change it, so one and zero. However, the bottom row will now get changed. So negative five times R1, negative five times one would give us negative five, plus three R2. Three times zero is zero. So we remain negative five. Next, th this one right here. So negative five times zero is zero, plus three R2. Three times one would give us three. And so now this is this matrix. And so this right here, we can call it E1. It would be L if it is on this side. But since it's on the left-hand side, it's not L yet. We're close to getting this to become L. And so an idea, or uh, I guess you could call it a rule, is that A is equal to E, um, the inverse, times U. We got U and E inverse and E inverse is equivalent to L. And so now we're very close. So now we can say that A is equal to the inverse of E. So that means one, negative five, zero, three, uh, negative one like this, times U, which was this. Three, zero, negative six, six. So this right here, is L and this right here is U. But we need to make this into a solid form because now it's raised to negative one. Um, 
If you're allowed to use a calculator, getting this is very simple, and I'll do it both ways. So I can hit, this is a TI Inspire CX cost. I'm using this calculator, I can hit this icon right here, hit this, and then write what I had. So one, negative five, zero, three, raise to uh, negative one. And I simply hit enter, and this is what I get. But maybe you can't use a calculator, so I'll also solve this by hand. So in order to solve this by hand, this is what I need to do. It's gonna be one over one times three, this diagonal, one times three, that diagonal, minus parentheses, this diagonal, negative five times zero, times, now this is another trick, I will swap the one and the three over, meaning this will become three and this will become one, however, I will now change the signs for this. So this is negative five, it will now be positive five. Um, zero would remain the same, but had zero been another number like two, it would be negative two. So, I'm, so what I'm doing here is flipping the one and three over and changing the sign for this diagonal. And now if I multiply it out, so one divided by one times three is three, this would give us zero, so one third. One third times this, that means Three times one third would be one. Uh, one third times zero is zero. One third times five is five over three. One third times one is one over three. And let's check if this compares to what we got on the calculator. So one, zero, five over three, one over three. And it's identical, so that's good. So lastly, we just need to write down what we had. So A is equal to L, U. So this is L, one, 5 over 3, 0, 1 over 3, times u, which was 3, 0, negative 6, 6. This right here is the final answer. So this was L and this was u. And so order is very important because u times L is incorrect. It has to be L times u. And I'll show you why that is. So I'm gonna use my calculator and write this exact thing, L times U. So we said that L was equal to this. So I can hit Control, Enter, this is L. And U was equal to, Control, this icon, um, matrix. We had three, negative six, zero, and six, like this, hit Enter. We said that A is equal to L times U. And let me show you why that is. A is equal to L times U. L times U. If I hit enter, I get three, negative six, five, negative eight. That number seems familiar. Let me show you why that is. Our starting problem was that, three, negative six, five, negative eight. However, if I say that A is equal to U times L, I get something different. And so that is wrong. And that is how we do LU decomposition for a two by two matrix.